barriers to effective communication so students in the process of communication the sender begins to encode a message and thereby the receiver decodes it through a medium or channel so if the sender or receiver face any challenges or hindrance during this process it may affect the free flow of communication and that can be called as barriers to effective communication and these barriers are categorized into different types let's check that in detail the first one which comes here is intrapersonal barriers which means the obstacles or challenges that occurs within one's own mind or thoughts so here are some reasons behind this intrapersonal barriers the first one is social anxiety social anxiety is a condition due to intense fear or discomfort in social situations The second one is self doubt. Sometimes individual may fail to express their opinions due to self doubt or lack of confidence. And here comes the third reason which is fixed mindset. Fixed mindset for example, you are afraid of doing something because you think that you are not good at that. So that too is a matter of confidence that can affect effective communication. Now let's move into the second type of barrier that is interpersonal barriers. Here you might notice the difference between intrapersonal and interpersonal. Intrapersonal is uh, something within oneself or ourself and interpersonal is between two or more people. Here comes the first of its types that is differences in perception or perceptual differences. which means different individuals interpret the same idea differently because their perception is truly based on their own culture values backgrounds etc next one is emotional barriers suppose we are in a very fearful situation or in an angry mood to someone we can't focus on the talk that is happening around us so that will affect the feedback very badly and that can become a barrier to effective communication Now the third one is cultural barriers let me explain this with an example Onam is the festival of Kerala and we have someone outside Kerala who doesn't have much knowledge about Onam so our conversation with that person about Onam will not be much effective because of this cultural differences The fourth one is noise noise can be referred as any unwanted sounds or distractions that can interrupt the free flow of communication For an example in a classroom setting where the teacher is taking the class and some students are chatting so that chat is a noise for the entire classroom Now the next barrier that is verbal barriers verbal barriers are obstacles that hinder effective communication through spoken languages that can be language barriers where different people of different countries may struggle to communicate themselves because of this difference in their language next one in this type is use of jargons jargon is a specialized language or terminology used by a particular group or profession that may be difficult for others to understand for example the medical terms used by the people in the medical field apart from verbal barriers we have non verbal barriers too in which that don't involve spoken or written words but still affect how messages are understood such as body language tone of voice and physical appearance next we have physical barriers physical barriers are things that get in the way of people talking or hearing each other like distance noise or objects blocking their view Here are some kinds of physical barriers technological barriers and environmental barriers Next we have psychological barriers in which obstacles that hinder effective communication due to mental or emotional factors There we have preconceived notions which means existing beliefs stereotypes or closed mindedness everything influence how information is interpreted Emotional distress means the emotional condition of that person at the time of talking or listening. Next we have organizational barriers which are obstacles within a company or group structure that impede effective communication among its members which may be sometimes its hierarchical structure the inconvenience between its boss and its employees 
or sometimes the lack of feedback mechanism in the working place or sometimes the communication overloaded communication which means too much information at a time will confuse the listeners so these are some of the barriers of communication now let's just talk about how to overcome these barriers here the first one is listening the talk with much patience and concentration then only the feedback mechanism works there and the communication will go on next one is empathy and understanding by empathizing with others individuals can build trust strengthen connections and foster mutual respect and support and understanding in the sense comprehending the thoughts beliefs and motivations behind someone's communication now clarity and transparency it means presenting information in a clear straightforward manner so that the intended message is effectively conveyed so that's all about barriers of communication hope you understand thank you